Hey, what's up, dreamers? Welcome back to the Dream Green Show, where financials meet real life. Today, we're gonna be talking about something special, the top five signs that you might actually be doing financially well, that's right. Now, this isn't just about numbers. This isn't just about charts. It's about recognizing your financial achievements. Now, if you're still on your way there, that's perfectly fine. This video is your guide to get in there no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive straight into it. In fact, before we dive into it, make sure that you go down and hit that subscribe button that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. And a uh, scientific research show, if you ask someone to do something, they might actually do it. So it's better than not asking. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, first thing first, if you have an emergency fund that covers at least three to six months of expenses, give yourself a well pat on the back, a well-deserved pat on the back. Why? Because you're already ahead of the game. You're already ahead of the curve. You see, majority of Americans aren't as as prepared as you are. In fact, studies have shown that a significant proportion of people that live inside the United States has less than $1,000 in their savings. That's right, less than a grant to cover unexpected events like medical emergencies, car repairs, or just a, a sudden job loss. Now, having an emergency fund that covers three to six months of expenses, that's a financial cushion that not only provides a peace of mind, it also gives you option. It means you can handle those out of the blue moments without um, derailing your whole financial train. All right, but let's say you're sitting there thinking, what emergency fund? No worry, guys, start small. You're not alone on this journey, all right? There's no need to panic. Start to build out an emergency fund is a great journey that you need to start it's with a, a single step. Even setting aside just a few dollars each week or if a few dollars each month can start to build a substantial um, buffer over time. Think of it as, hey, I don't have a lot of money, but think of it as like planting an acorn seed. Once you plant that acorn seed and you tend to it and you offer water to it and you feed it right, it ends up eventually growing to be a, a, a very tall oak tree, a very tall acorn tree, right? So think about savings just like that. Just go ahead and get started. All right, moving on to sign number two that you might be doing financially well is if you're a regular investor, right? Now, this is a big one. If you're someone who's putting money into a stock market on a regular basis, you're already making strides into the, the right direction to become financially independent, to become financially free. Consistently investing, regardless of the amount, it doesn't matter, it could be a dollar, is a testament to your financial foresight, right? It shows that you're understanding the, the value of long-term growth. And here's the cool part. When you invest inside stocks, guys, you're not just buying a piece of paper or a digital number. You're becoming a part owner of these companies that you're investing into and to these companies that you use every single day. So let's say if you own an iPhone, why not also own an Apple stock? If you own Jordans, why not also own Nike stock? Now imagine owning a part of the very businesses that you use every single day by investing inside of the stock market. You're effectively saying, I believe in these companies enough to become part owner. Don't invest into anything that you have no clue about or that you're not proud to actually own. Now, if you're thinking, but I don't know where to start, don't worry. One great way to get your feet wet is to invest through an ETF or exchange traded fund. Take for instance, the ETF known as VOO. This fund tracks the S&P 500, which means it offers a slice of the top 500 companies in America. Um, it's like diversifying your portfolio inside one single investment. This is a perfect starting point for those that's new to investing. One share of VOO, now you invest into Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble. You invest inside all of these large companies, America's top 500 companies, just from buying this one stock, take a symbol VOO. Now, if you clicked on this video and wanna get your investing journey started, I'm gonna leave two links down in the description to Moomoo. Right now, if you sign up with Moomoo, this is how I buy stocks that is completely commission-free. Buying stocks used to cost a lot of money back in the day, but now there are apps out there to where you can invest inside the stock market with their brokerage completely free. I use Moomoo, and if you want to get started today, if you sign up with my link down in the description and deposit $100, you can receive up to 15 free stocks. Plus, if you use my link, you could get an extra free stock. And if you just hold your cash inside of there, if you don't know what to buy yet, 
you can have a cash sweep up to 5.1% interest off the cash that's just hold, held inside that account. So if you guys do want to invest inside the stock market, I use Moomoo. That link is down in the description. I'm also going to leave a link to Webull. That link is going to be down in the description. If you sign up with Webull, you can deposit $1 if you want to. You sign up for Webull, deposit $1, you can receive up to 12 free stocks. Guys, this is literally free money. Do not miss out on this opportunity. Both of those links are gonna be down in the description if you do want to start investing and owning some of these companies yourself. It has not been any easier, guys. And the thing is, the beauty of regular investing is that it does not have to be a large amount. It could be a small amount, consistently contributes, can accumulate over the time. It's like the snowball effect, the compound interest effect. And remember, the earlier you start investing, if you wanna get started today, the earlier you start investing, it can contribute to more potential growth to your investment. So thanks to the magic of time and the compound interest effect, you guys can make a lot of money if the earlier you start, all right? So let's go ahead and move over to number three. Our third sign of financial wellness is all about depth or the rather the lack of depth that you might have. See, if you got your debt under control or even better, almost cleared, you're winning in the world of finance, guys, I'm telling you. Having minimum debt means more than just keeping your earnings. It means your money is actively working for you, growing in your investments, boosting your savings, or maybe even funding your dream projects that you always thought about. It's about changing the game where money isn't a source of stress, but a tool for growth and stability. And if you're currently feeling the weight of debt, remember the path to be being um, debt-free starts with one step at a time. Prioritize tackling the high interest debt first, paying off your car notes, paying off those high interest credit cards that you have, paying those off first, and then um, that's the trickiest one, but those, those are the ones that you have to pay off first so that you're able to save money over time. It's about um, consistent effort and strategic planning, turning daunting depths into manageable milestones, right? So even if you're just contributing just a little bit every single week over time, before you guys start investing, before you guys start buying these big, large purchases, start paying off your debt first, your student loans, your credit cards, your car notes, start paying that off first so them high interest rates don't come back to bite you and take away all your other gains that you had invested. All right, so that's gonna move us to sign number four that you might be doing well is having Having a retirement plan. It's not just a distant dream, it's a tangible goal that you're actively working towards. So are you regularly contributing to your retirement fund? If the answer is yes, you're not just saving money, you're investing in your future comfort and security. Every contribution is like a promise to your future self my future self gonna be watching this as a commitment that says I'm taking care of you. And it's not just about stashing away money, it's about growing it wisely, whether it's in a 401k or in an IRA or any other retirement plan, you're on the path of ensuring your golden years are as golden as they can be. Do not be broke when you're old. Start now, guys. I promise you it's gonna be awesome. Anybody could do it. Anybody could get started today. But if you haven't started yet or you're finding it hard to save for retirement, don't let that discourage you. The journey to a comfortable retirement is unique. It's unique for everyone and it's never too late to begin. Start by exploring retirement options available to you, like an employer sponsor plan, which often come with the added bonuses of employer matching, contributions, or setting up individual retirement accounts. Remember, even small regular contributions can have a significant impact over time. Thanks to the power of compound interest, it's about taking those initial steps, however modest they may be, and consistently building on them. And now we're gonna move over to number five is budgeting. Budgeting is your best friend, guys. Lastly, if you're on your first name basis with your budget, you are more financially savvy than most. Sticking to a budget means you're in the driver's seats of your financial journey. And if the word budget give you the heebie-jeebies, <laughs> let's go ahead and reframe that. It's not about restrictions. It's about making your money work more efficiently efficiently for you. Start simple, track your expenses, and set realistic goals. There are plenty of apps and tools out there that you can use to help you along this journey. So if every month you're looking at your, your, your bank account and you're wondering where all of your money is going, that is not financially well. If every month you know exactly where all of your money is going, if you know how many streaming services you're paying for, if you know how much money you're spending on food, gas, um, entertainment, if you know where all of your money going and it's fit inside your budget, 
good job. If you're looking at your bank account at the end of the month and you wondering where's all your money going, <laughs> you might need to go ahead and start budgeting, guys. That could actually help you along the way of helping those other four goals that we set earlier become more achievable. And there we go. If you have or are doing all five of these things, then you are doing financially well. Even if you just have two or three of the five of these things, um, you are still doing financially well and you are on your way to becoming financially free to achieve financial freedom, guys. So let me know down in the comment section, are you five out of five, four out of five, three out of five, zero out of five? Let me know down in the comment section. I wanna see where you guys are at and which one do you think is the hardest? Which one have you already achieved? Do you have a emergency fund? Do you have a thousand dollars in your savings? Let me know all of that down in the comment section. I can't wait to read you guys' comments and to possibly help you out along your journey, guys. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to show you guys my journey. I can't wait to see you guys' journey. Remember, those two links down in the description, if you guys do want to get started investing to stocks, um, stocks had help, has helped me become financially free over time because I started early and I invested into some pretty good stocks. But the easiest one, like I said, in this video was VOO, which I'm going to do a whole video over in the future. So if you guys don't want to miss out on that VOO video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Go down, hit that subscribe button. Go down, hit that thumbs up button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you want to be an awesome subscriber, go ahead and hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below. But other than that, guys, check out these two videos that might pop up on your screen right here. Check those out. Leave a comment and like under those videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.